What's up, everybody? So it was recently reported that the Knicks are in active trade talks with the Pistons to acquire Derrick Rose. D. Rose is far from the MVP caliber player he used to be, but he's still a good player. He's currently averaging 14 points per game and four assists per game in just 22 minutes of action for a rebuilding Pistons team, which is pretty good numbers. This would be Derrick Rose's second stint with New York as he got traded to the Knicks back in 2016. That was the same year that D-Rose comically suggested that the Knicks were a super team like the Warriors, and we all know how that went down. This would also be Derrick Rose's third stint with Thibodeau as he coached D-Rose during his MVP season in Chicago and also back in Minnesota. So with that connection, it makes sense why the Knicks would have interest. Anyway guys, in this video, let's talk about if the addition of Derrick Rose would actually make sense on this team, and what would the Knicks actually have to give up? But before we get started, please like the video and subscribe as it really helps my channel grow. Now let's get started. Now like I said earlier, D. Rose is still a pretty good player. The Pistons have played Derrick Rose off the bench this year and put him in a mentorship role for Killian Hayes. Even in his age 32 season, D. Rose is still an absolute bucket. He's still got a quick first step and a strong handle, so he can still break down the fenders and get to the rim with ease. He's also pretty good at creating his own jumper off the dribble using moves like the step back. The weaknesses in his game is that he's a poor defender, which he's pretty much been his entire career, and a pretty poor outside shooter. At this stage of his career, I don't think D. Rose is a starting caliber point guard. His game is tailor-made to be a spark plug off a team's bench, which is why since he last played for the Knicks that one year, he's mostly been a second unit guy. If the Knicks were to trade for him, I would assume he would be coming off the bench again. Now I know Knicks fans don't like Alfred Payton, but as of right now, Payton is thriving for the Knicks. He scored over 20 in the last two games, which both resulted in wins. In fact, as Wally Zerbiak has pointed out on MSG, the Knicks are 9-2 when Peyton scores at least five field goals. So Thibodeau isn't benching Peyton for D. Rose due to Peyton's impact on winning. Also, while D. Rose is a better scorer than Peyton, Peyton is a very good defender at the point guard position. So the Knicks were to start Rose, there would be a huge drop off defensively. It's also important to mention that Rose isn't helping the Knicks space the floor on offense since he only shoots 33% from three. If the Knicks were to acquire D. Rose, I think he would be a six or seven man, and I actually think that Rose could really help the Knicks in that role. The Knicks bench has been a weakness of their team. According to Stats Muse, they get the sixth least amount of points from their bench out of all teams. This would explain why Randall and RJ Barrett are some of the league leaders in minutes. Tibbs can't leave the bench out there for too long, otherwise the Knicks just end up getting destroyed. The Knicks do get consistent offense from Emmanuel quickly these days, but other than him, nobody is producing off the bench every night. Austin Rivers is a good spark plug in theory, but unless he's playing the Utah Jazz, it seems like his shot is off. Derrick Rose would definitely help to bolster the Knicks second unit which would improve the team and give them a greater shot of making the playoffs. So since we know that Rose can help the Knicks, what would a trade look like? A name that's come up is Frank Nilakina. Dennis Rodriguez is another guy who's also been in trade talks. If I'm the Knicks and I can get D Rose for just one of Frank or Dennis, I'm doing it in a heartbeat. Both of these guys have become complete non-factors on this New York Knicks team. They're both out the rotation and at this stage of their career, it's fair to call them busts considering they were both drafted with top 10 picks. To select someone with a 7th or 8th pick and they're not even in your rotation 4 years later says they haven't worked out at all. Now both Frank and Dennis are underachievers, but there is some potential to become good NBA players for them. Frank is a very good defender, but his problem is that he's horrible on the offensive end. He really struggles to shoot the basketball, and he can't create offense for himself off the dribble consistently. But if Frank was to develop a good three ball, he could be a legit 3 and D player. And players like that help teams win. As for Dennis, it's safe to say that he'll never be the all-star he was drafted to be, but he's still very athletic and he could still drive to the hoop. If Dennis could get some playing time on the Pistons to develop, I do think that he could actually be a player similar to what D-Rose is today a pretty good backup point guard. 
So for the Pistons, you could trade a player who isn't part of your future for a reclamation project. I think D rolls for Frank or D rolls for Dennis would be a win-win for both teams. Anyway, guys, I want to hear what you think. Should the Knicks trade for D rolls? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed the video so you don't miss another single upcoming upload. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.